Hi, today I'm going to show you how to view your researcher profile and your research impact using Google Scholar. Now you do need to have a Google account and be signed into it. But you can go to Google Scholar at scholar.google.com or google.com slash scholar and then sign in and you'll know that you're signed in when you see your little icon show up on the right hand side in the corner. So once you're signed in, you can click on My Profile, which is here, and that will take you to your researcher profile. Now, if you watched my other video on using Scopus to look at your research profile and your research impact, you'll see that the numbers are different. And why is that? Scopus is using its data, what it's, what it's indexed in Scopus, and Google is using its own proprietary algorithm for finding scholarly communications and scholarly publications. So yeah, the numbers are going to look a little bit different. So here we have my profile, and you can edit that because, of course, we're signed in. It knows that it's you. If you click on the pencil, you'll be able to add your name, if you've had a name change, your affiliation, if you've changed affiliations, your areas of interest, your email, and your ORCID. I have an ORCID that I set up that's an Open Researcher Contributor ID. And you can choose whether your profile is public or not. So I'll click Save. And on the right-hand side, we see a little graphic cited by. So I have my citations, my H-index, and an easy way to understand the H-index. Uh, this is saying that I have at least 11 publications with at least 11 or more citations. And the I-10 index is a metric that Google uses, that Google Scholar uses, that means essentially the same thing, only the cutoff is 10. So the number of publications that I have with 10 or more citations is 11. So let's look at my publications here. And what we see is the list and the citation information, but also under cited by the number that you can interact with. So for example, for clinical practice guidelines, if I wanted to see the people who have, or the authors, publications that have cited me, I can click on this number, and it's in descending order. Now over here I have my co-authors, and I can click on those people as well to view their Google profiles. They've set their Google profiles to public. So let's look at someone. We'll look at Dr. Checkley. So this is Dr. Checkley's profile, and it looks similar to mine in its contents. So that is one way that you can look at your research impact. So have fun exploring. Feel free to reach out to me or your librarian for more help or assistance. And thanks for watching.